Hi guys, Metalhead here, and I thought I'd just drop this quick video. Uh, I'm just doing a bit of research for another video that I have coming out in a few days that looks at the all-in costs of buying bullion from various dealers in the UK. And I came across this interesting page from the Royal Mint, uh, and it's all about international delivery and sending bullion overseas and in particular what it talks about is countries that are not allowed and organizations that are not allowed to buy bullion uh, be it gold silver platinum whatever from the royal mint and this is all in line as you can see here with uh, uk government policy and i imagine the financial sanctions uh, and so on that they have on overseas certain overseas countries and organizations and yeah, you've got the likes on here of Afghanistan, Iran, Iraq, Libya, uh, Russia, Somalia, Syria, Yemen, Zimbabwe, North Korea there in the middle. Um, but, but what I also found interesting um, is that you've got uh, ISIS, ISIL uh, there below Iran, and also at the top here, Al-Qaeda. Now, I don't know if someone was buying or wanting to buy bullion from the Royal Mint and they were a member of ISIS or Al-Qaeda. I, I wonder if, I wonder how they would know that they were part of an organisation. I'm sure they wouldn't be declaring it um, when they made their purchase. But either way, if you are a member of Al-Qaeda or ISIL, uh, ISIS, um, the, the, the rule is you can't buy bullion from the Royal Mint. It's not allowed. Um, that's all it is, guys. Um, I'll, I'll be releasing another video in a few days, as I say, looking at um, bullion dealers in the UK and comparing the pricing, including the postage and packaging. Um, I've done one of them videos before, and a lot of people were saying, you know, Metalhead, you need to include uh, the, the, the postage um, as part of the overall cost. So I'm going to be doing that, and I'll be releasing the video in a few days. So stay tuned for that. Uh, and in the meantime, guys, speak to you soon and happy stacking.